Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, Thursday session, 15th of August 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. You can certainly visit the website www.tradesignal.com. Okay, in terms of uh, market price action today, China's off on holiday. Uh, we have the Nikkei. Nikkei is down minus 1.2%, so certainly under pressure. Uh, and again, indicating a risk aversion uh, this morning. Uh, risk aversion certainly has been negated. Bearish news certainly has been priced in. And uh, European markets have started to move higher. We have the FTSE up 7 points now. Pulse, the retail sales figure coming in slightly stronger than expected. And certainly alleviating any concerns post-Brexit. Okay, with regards to retail sales. Although having said that, uh, retail sales data has been, has been mixed with John Lewis and Next. Certainly um, reporting l further losses, whilst Morrison's is stellar. I think it was up six uh, percent at one time. So certainly a mixed picture there. Although retail sales certainly coming in on the stronger side and thereby alleviating any potential uh, concerns down the line, and certainly helping the FTSE uh, off the lows as well, given the fact that the FTSE was uh, uh, hitting a pivot low of six six forty overnight. But the other economic data as well, we had uh, uh, New Zealand GDP coming in weaker than expected overnight. Okay, We had uh, Aussie jobs data as well coming in on the weaker side overnight. So again, cause for concern there. Also potential um, inflation obviously weaker down the line given the fact that jobs data certainly didn't meet the mark. Now, uh, in terms of uh, retail sales, we've had that uh, UK trade balance out of the Eurozone slightly weaker than expected. Okay. And uh, the CPI data or inflation data certainly coming in line, so no real uh, surprises there. Uh, the only economic data or, or the only real news event now is going to be the BOE uh, and uh, their potential announcement and the minutes that are due out in the next 15 to 20 minutes from the UK. So again, uh, expect that to be market moving. And then we have uh, US data. To look for, to uh, to certainly uh, watch out for with retail sales being very very important initial jobless claims industrial production so certainly a barrage of of data there uh, oil data or oil uh, supply data certainly came in on the bullish side overnight okay certainly a drop in potential um, crude inventory build and uh, again the oil price is still uh, failing to move higher now if I just bring up the chart of oil for you let's give you an insight in oil okay. Here we go. Okay, so the daily chart of oil is now into, into a, a potentially important uh, zone. Okay, especially with the oil supply data yesterday as well being on the bullish side, the US dollar certainly um, uh, languishing as well to a large extent. But having said that, we've had weaker Kiwi and Aussie data out overnight. So as again, you are going to expect some resistance or weakness there. So oil price is certainly coming into potentially support. And that should help equities going forward, okay? Especially given the fact that uh, Fed's uh, Brainard certainly was dovish, and therefore it should help the uh, the bullish equation, okay? In terms of uh, equities now, let's just go over the German DAX first and foremost. The daily chart, the German DAX, you're holding that gap fill support, certainly held that uh, potential bottoming tail that was registered on the uh, 12th of September, so certainly looking for a move higher. 60 minute chart, you're certainly putting a potential double bottom. Looking to potentially target the gap at 10,570. So again, German DAX certainly on the bullish side of the equation. Certainly a potential for an inverted head and shoulders formation here as well, folks. Okay, your left shoulder head obviously is confirmed and looking for a right shoulder now before we start to really move higher. So watch out for a movement higher on the German DAX. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, so French CAC certainly seems to be building a base here. Okay, so no lower lows. Okay, looking to break out this falling uh, contracting or falling bearish channel. 60 minute chart again, you've certainly held gap fill and certainly bounce. So, again, looking for a move higher. And daily chart certainly shows you that you've certainly bounced off the uh, gap and certainly looking to move higher there as well. So, for French CAC, German DAX certainly positioned to move higher. Looking at the FTSE 100 now, again, we held the potential support. If you go to the daily chart, you certainly had the uh, potential for a H&S formation uh, obviously being triggered. And now, therefore, you are looking for 6375 on the downside. Obviously, we have support at 6620, which I expected to be hit this morning. And we failed to do so, given the fact that the markets were very, very bullish. Okay, so again, I was stopped out on that trade. 
uh, bought the 4100 certainly remain stellar and certainly moving higher 60 minute chart you've built a base base is being built at the uh, 6660 at the 6660 zone so certainly a base has been built looking to potentially project higher 10 minute chart going back to the 10 minute chart again folks again it certainly seems like everywhere there seems to be inverted head and shoulders formation so you certainly have one here so you're looking at your left shoulder here your head obviously has gone in looking for a right shoulder and then looking to potentially move higher and break out higher so next level on the FTSE it is seen at around 6720 that certainly remains the first resistance zone if oil prices really start to move and uh, investors start to really embrace risk then you are looking at gap fill which is seen at a 6780 zone okay so you are looking at gap fill here at 6780 so certainly watch out for that as well certainly looking for that uh, a, a, a resistance zone above to certainly hold okay folks that's going to be quite important uh, and again 6720 and gap fillers at 6775 so those two zones if we hold 67 or 6620 6720 sorry then obviously uh, the uh, bullish party certainly is over if we start to break out to 6775 that certainly would make sense given the inverted head and shoulders formation target 6650 your neckline is 6708 so you're looking at at least a 50 to 60 point rally on the upside and that would take you towards the gap fill level around 6775 so again watch out for that zone that certainly seems to be the zone that we are looking to uh, potentially target in the FTSE okay let's bring up the chart of the euro stocks now let's see how the euro stocks is faring okay so euro stocks uh, from my perspective i'm currently just to confirm i'm actually long the euro stocks at the moment okay you're into horizontal support here gap fill support on euro stock 60 minute chart you've broken out the right falling contracting wedge and therefore looking to break higher so again a bullish argument on you have the inverted head and shoulders same time pattern on the uh, 10 minute chart as well so certainly looking for movements uh, movement higher on the uh, euro stocks okay looking for the ihs to certainly come into play Okay, I think that's a market wrap then, folks. Bias certainly remains bullish. Again, watch out for the BOE. That certainly is a wild card. And obviously, US data certainly is a wild card as well. If retail sales come in stronger and uh, remain firm, yes, it does increase the potential rate hike odds. But it should nevertheless hold the market higher given the uh, given the fact that we will start the carnage recently. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the... Uh, 25% bonus. Goodbye now.